Hello, and welcome to this tutorial for the board game Colt Express. In this video I'll explain how to play the base game. All other information you can get from the rulebook, but I would like to mention this game won the 2015 Game of the Year award in Essen, Germany, which is like the Oscars for board games. Now, how to play Colt Express. You will be playing five rounds, and then whoever has stolen the most money wins the game. At the start of each round, the little figure with your color will be standing somewhere in or on the train. You're not going to do anything with it, because first you are going to plan what you're going to do with it. And you do that by playing your cards. How many cards you can play during a round will be decided by the game, so you don't have to think about that. At the start of a round you shuffle all your own cards and give yourself six to use. I will now explain what each card means. This card with the left and right arrow means that later you can move your figure left or right. If you're inside the train, you move one space. If you're on top of the train, you can move one or two or three spaces. This card with the arrow pointing up and down means that later you will move your figure from inside the train up to the roof or from the roof to inside the train. Then this card with the dollar sign on it. This means you can pick up some money, which is the goal of the game. You can pick up a little money bag, you can pick up a ruby, or pick up a briefcase, as long as it's in the space where your figure is when this action is executed. The next card is the one with the gun on it. This lets you shoot another player. You can only shoot another player that is not in the same space as you. If you're inside the train, you can shoot the player in the cabin in front of you or the one that's behind you. If you're on the roof, you can shoot any other player that's closest to your front or closest to the, le to the back. Later in the game, when you're executing everything you're planning now, if you successfully shoot another player, you give that player one of your bullet cards. This useless bullet card will become a part of the deck that the other player has to deal with. And at the end of the game, whoever gave out the most bullet cards gets a thousand dollar bonus. In short, with this gun card you can damage other players that are not in your space. If you do want to hurt another player that is in your space, you play this card with a fist on it. If you do that successfully, you pick first one of the looted items from the player's stash. This item must be put back in the train where you just punched him or her. And then you decide whether you just punched that player one space to the front or one space to the back. And yes, that will very likely ruin everything the other player planned to do. There's one last card to explain. This one with the star on it lets you move the marshal one space to the left or the right. The marshal is the police force on the train, and he's always in the train, where you and the other players are a bunch of robbers taking people's money. Whenever a player is in the same space as the marshal, this player immediately adds a neutral damage card to his or her deck, and the player's figure is moved to the roof. Again, this likely messes up whatever the player planned to do and the marshal never goes to the roof. These are all the actions you can do to hopefully later execute them when the planning phase is over. 
So, how do you play the planning phase? Starting with the first player, everyone plays one card and places it all together on one pile. When the last card is played, the planning phase is over. You should know that you're allowed to skip one turn to take three extra cards from your deck, but only if you have at least three cards left in your deck. So, a short recap. With this card, you plan to go to the front or the back. With this one, you go up or down. This one lets you pick up money. You use this one to shoot and this one to punch. And last, this card moves the marshal one space to the front or the back. Then, when all cards are played and you have planned in your mind everything you intend to do with your figure, it will be executed now. And things can easily go horribly wrong. The first player flips over the deck of cards that you've just created in the planning phase. Don't shuffle it. And then, one by one, you deal with whatever card is on top. For example, if it's a green card that lets you go up or down, you pick up the green figure and place it from inside to the roof, or vice versa. And you keep going until all the cards that you have played during the planning phase have been executed, even if they are execu executed completely differently than you intended. You do this for five rounds and then the game is over. Each round the game will tell you how many cards to play and how to place them on the deck. For more details about this, just check the rulebook while you're playing. It's also good to know that every player has its own special ability, but you'll find out what that is when you play. Before wrapping up, I would like to mention that this game is a lot of fun, but even better if you add at least one expansion, and best when you add both expansions that are available at the moment. You are now ready to play Cold Express. I hope this video was enough to make you understand how to play it. Have fun, thank you for watching, and see you for the next one.